If you watch this channel, you know that I love doing title animations and sometimes I rush through a variety of different title animations I use in my videos. But in this video, I really wanna dig deep into this topic and talk about 10 title animations that you should know or at least be the foundations for creating professional titles very easily right here in After Effects. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone is doing excellent today. So this is a pretty straightforward tutorial if you're looking to produce better title work and get it done very quickly if you're new to this or you know if you wanted some new ideas for title animations this video will be perfect for you so I'm gonna stop rambling and we're gonna talk about our 10 title animations you should know all right and as always you can download our project files if you want to follow along but technique number one we're gonna create a position up animation so we have a title layer here no animation applied to it what we can do is open up our title layers this process will be the same for most of our work but we'll come here to the animate tab and we're gonna come here and add a position and this is something I use very simply. What you'll do is come here to the Y position, you can bring this down or in any other direction that you want. But we'll bring this down. And then we'll come here to add, go to property and add an opacity. And set the opacity down 0%. Come here to the beginning of your timeline, go to range selector one, add a keyframe for start. Move forward maybe by a second and a half or something and set the start up to 100%. So you're gonna get each of these characters coming in from the bottom right there, no big deal. But what you can do is go to your advanced tab right here and you set based on to words or you keep it at characters. Boom, now you have the words coming in uh, very simply like that. All right, technique number two is called a flick animation. So one thing you'll notice here is that the animation starts off very slow and speeds up towards the middle and ends at a very slow pace. If you do a linear animation, this is where you have you know standard keyframes. As you see, boom, it just comes in at the same exact speed. And having this sort of speed is what I call a flick animation. How this works is very simple. So I do this for pretty much all my animations these days, this sort of style. So how do you create a flick animation is very simple. You grab your keyframes and you hit F9 on your keyboard to make it easy, ease keyframes. Then you come here to the graph editor, you select the keyframes, right? And then you get these handles here. And what you do is just drag that across all the way. Boom. You can, of course, also, if you want to, Come here and use the speed graph instead and you can just drag these inward so both of those will work the same exact way and then what's going to happen here boom you create a quick flick animation you can bring those keyframes in and it gets even more intense like that so a quick way to add a little bit more style to your animations and i am applying this animation style to the rest of our techniques inside of this video so, all right our third animation is the one that i really like it's called from the center animation you'll see that our word is animating right from the center of our composition um, and it's really awesome. We have our title layer here, no animation. We'll come here to animate and we're gonna add a tracking to this. And we're gonna bring the tracking amount all the way to the negative value to crunch our title in perfectly, okay? Then we'll come here to add, come here to property and add an opacity, bring the opacity down 0%. And as always, you'll come here and animate the start percent all the way from zero to 100. And I'll apply that flick animation as well to this. And boom, now you got something right from the center and that looks really awesome. All right, fourth technique is simply a very cinematic blur that you can apply to your titles. It's beautiful. And how this works is simple. You just add a blur to this and you increase the blur to the point where you can't see the, you know, the, what's going on. And then of course, make sure you add a opacity to this and set the opacity down 0%. You can't open the range selector, go to the advanced tab and set this based on to words. I think that looks the best when you do it. And then of course, animate to start with the flick animation. It's best to actually keep this a little bit longer than shorter. And when it's all said and done, here's what we have. And that looks really nice. So our fifth technique is a 3D rotation of our title. You'll see here that the letters are, you know, three dimensional there. And it's, it's kind of like revealing on like a flip sign. So it's really easy to do this. And there's a lot of great techniques you can use with this. And so here's our title. What we do is come here to animate and we'll click on enable per character 3D. You come here to say rotation. So you add that in there. No big deal, and you set the rotation to 90 degrees, the Y rotation specifically. You can experiment with the other ones as well, completely up to you. Then what you do is come here to add property, and of course add an opacity, set that to 0%. And as you know it, go ahead and animate the range selector, start percent. And boom, there you have it. Now you have a three dimensional reveal in of your title. And before we move on to our next title technique, I wanna give a huge shout out to our 100 title pack extension right here for After Effects. So this is our After Effects extension with our 100 title pack in here. And simply this extension allows us to import templates into any After Effects project we're working on. And we can apply, a, say, a title template that we want that is perfectly designed and we click on apply. And we import a full title animation template that we can adjust right here in our composition. We go into that comp and easily change out our titles. And we build our templates to allow you to easily adjust our titles. So for example, if you wanna adjust the size of the graphics here, you can just come here to our control panel 
and boom you bring that down and we can of course move other elements as well and now the graphic has been resized if we don't need a specific title we can go ahead and turn that off and what's great about our 100 title pack is that it doesn't change the animation whatsoever all the animations stay exactly the same and of course you can easily change your colors however you see fit and everything will update in our main composition we have a handful of other packs as well that we can switch over to and apply elements from you can of course download our freebie pack and you can get 42 free elements for absolutely free that will be linked below so if you're looking to save a tremendous amount of time and produce awesome work right here for after effects you can take a look at any of the packs off our website i will link them below if you do pick up anything you will be supporting our channel so thank you very much all right, starting off our six technique is a very important one. And believe me, do not underestimate this technique because it's not necessarily something that's easy to implement, but it is easy to do once you'll see me do it. Okay, so what this animation does, it keeps the in animations and the out animations exactly the same. So we're animating this out exactly the same way. Um, and as you can see, it animates in from left to right and it animates out from left to right. It's not as easy to do it when you do it on your own, believe me. Took me a few seconds to figure this out. So what we have here is the original animation from the previous Technique the 3D rotation effect. All we want to do to animate this out from left to right is take Animator 1, duplicate it, open up Animator 2, go to Range Selector, set the end percent to 0%, take the second batch of keyframes, and move them over in time. So now what's going to happen here is left to right animation in, left to right animation out very easy to do when watching this tutorial it's always a little bit confusing for me to put this together on my own because you know i always forget these little subtle techniques all right our seventh technique is a scale animation and you see the characters are coming up here you may be asking yourself have i run out of ideas yet and my answer is well i've made like 600 plus tutorials so i ran out of ideas years ago anyway let me show you how this is done so all we do is come in and animate and bring the scale in here and set the scale down zero percent and then of course animate your range selector in my opinion, this is a really good animation, very professional, and you can see you don't want to put a lot of work into this sort of thing to create something that looks great. So as you can see, I have not run out of ideas for Technique 8, which is what I'm calling a color swap. You can see we're kind of going back and forth between colors here. You don't have to do exactly what I'm going to do, but it's a pretty cool technique. All right, so here's our layer. What we do is come here and animate, and we're going to add a fill color to RGB. Okay, you can change the color to whatever color you want. You know, pink is hot. I like it. What we do is very simple. Come here, range selector one, and we're just gonna move the start over to fit one word or a group of letters. You can do whatever you want. You don't have to be copying me. You know, you copycat. And what we do is come here at the beginning of our timeline. We'll add a keyframe for start and end percent there, right there. Boom. Two keyframes. We'll move forward in time. We'll add a keyframe for those. Move forward maybe by one frame. Okay. And we just swap this over to the next word. You see, move those the start and end to fit the first word there. And basically, boom boom and then obviously we're going to want to keep this up for a certain length of time so just add some keyframes and there you have it boom boom okay now you want to keep this looping right so all we have to do is alt click the stopwatch for start and we're going to type in loop out that's a capital o open parenthesis close parenthesis just like that copy the expression and alt click this alt click the second stopwatch and just paste that in there and boom look at that it's going to go on forever our technique nine is tracking, and this is a completely controlled tracking method. So you come here and animate and add a tracking to this. And as before, we'll animate this in, of course. So what we'll do is bring the tracking in all the way, and we'll just add a keyframe for it. We're not gonna use the range selector here. And we'll just open up back to zero. Perfect. And we'll move forward into our time, however long we want this to be, and we'll increase the tracking out. And of course, we'll come here and add property opacity. We'll bring down the opacity to zero percent, and we'll come here after May the first frame or something add a keyframe for opacity move forward by a few frames and sets up to 100 percent and then it just adds a very nice touch to it and of course go ahead and easy easy keyframes and do the flick animation that we talked about previously so boom and i'll just animate in there continuously and i think that's really cool so you might be thinking okay this is just like our first technique but technique number 10 is really awesome they're calling it an invisible cut so as you can see the word is coming in from that cut there or, or words here so what we have here is our very basic position animation with our words coming in like that, like we did in our very first technique, okay? But we want this to be able to come in from a cut. So all we're gonna do is draw the rectangle tool and we're just gonna draw a mask, say like right there. Perfect, right underneath the title. So we come here and you'll see, boom, it just comes in from that cut. And it looks very clean and simple. 
and easy to do. So that is my 10 list title animations that you should know. Hopefully you found this video insightful and now you have a lot more techniques that you can implement into your work. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below and always be creative.